Welcome to the Cinnabar. Now we just got in a piece of test equipment that I've wanted to get for a long time. A Rockwell hardness tester. Now we were recently up in Montana picking up some barrel making equipment from the estate of a legendary barrel maker and gunsmith up, up in the Bozeman area. And in the shop he had not only one but two Rockwell hardness testers. This Wilson that we're keeping here at the Cinnabar and then there was a beautiful ornate older model that will we'll take over to Wyoming Armory and Cody. Now these things just give us a world of opportunities for, for testing the hardness of different metals in, in the guns. Now today what we're, we're going to be testing a bunch of Winchester barrels. Uh, you know if you've, if you've watched some of my episode where I've talked about black powder uh, metallurgy as opposed to the nickel steel barrels and then the proof steel barrels it's all been kind of academic but today we're going to test a bunch of these different barrels and just see exactly where they fall on the hardness scale and maybe be able to compare them to one another. Alright so this isn't a tutorial on the use of a Rockwell hardness tester but it's a pretty simple apparatus to use so we'll kind of show you on a test block here uh, exactly how this thing works. Now, I just grabbed a piece of scrap mild steel here out of the shop. We can set it up on here make sure everything's good and clean. We've got a, a hardened penetrator here. This, this one's a hardened steel penetrator. If we were testing say like tool steel something really hard we would have to get a diamond tip one and, and that would work in the C scale up here. We're working in the Rockwell B scale up here and I won't go into all those details and <laughs> there isn't a test later. So we get it up here and then we're going to preload it. Now there's two uh, needles up here. We're going to preload this thing until it until both of those needles are pointing straight up. There we go. There's a little one here with a black dot and maybe you can see that. If not, I can take my word for it. And when, when we're straight up with it, the other one's going to be really close and then we can, we can adjust the scale a little bit with this little thumb wheel down here to get it straight up. Okay, so we're preloaded now. Now there's this, this little doohickey down here that we we push down and that will that will put the major load we've got some weights in the back here that are going to load and push that penetrator down and in a, in a few seconds it should stabilize there's actually some oil in there that acts as a shock absorber so we don't just hammer that that penetrator into it okay and now we've got the, the major load on it it's still just crawling just a little and now it stops. So now we're going to take the major load off, leave the minor load on, and that's going to tell us the hardness. And we can see here we're at about 79. So that's a little higher than what we expect for just mild steel. So this, I'm not sure what kind of steel this is. 1018 is figured in at about 71 on the hardness scale for this B scale. So this would be a little harder than 1018. Um, so now that we've gone through that, we'll, we'll get set up and, and start testing some of these barrels going through this, this same kind of process. So here's how we're set up for testing these Winchester barrels. And I have to admit, it's a little bit Rube Goldberg. But we want to do our test down here towards the, the uh, breech end underneath uh, the bottom side of the barrel. If you look at many Winchester barrels, you notice there's a lot of stampings down there. And one of them that you see regularly is a little punch dot. And I think that was probably a quality control measure using a machine similar to this testing the hardness. So we want to put that, that punch dot down here. And we don't want all that weight out here. So we, I've just got a jack over here and, and uh, I'll make something for the future that's maybe a little more uh, professional and, and a little tighter as far as uh, the ability to raise and lower at a little finer graduations. But we're going to go ahead and test this first one here. Now this one should be just soft steel. This is an old 86 barrel 4065. It's been hacksawed off and extra dovetails in it and all sorts of stuff and not much of a bore so it's a good test piece. And what we would expect is to find a hardness that's similar to that test piece like we just did. You know this should be a, a mild steel barrel. So let's check it out. We'll go ahead and, and uh, slowly introduce our preload now I'm going to move this up because to take the weight off of it there and our preload stayed the same maybe just a tiny bit off okay let's 
see what we get here. And again, our expectation is to be somewhere in that neighborhood of high 70s where our mild steel test piece was. All right, she stopped moving, let's see. And we're 73. So if 1018 was 71, then this, and we've always talked about it, or talked about it in the past that these early barrels were very similar to 1018. So this is a very similar hardness to 1018 mild steel. Now both these 94 barrels are from the approximate same time frame. You see they both have the type two um, barrel address on them and that was used from approximately 1900 to around 1906. Now we can see that, that the barrel on the bottom here has a proof mark and they started proof marking at about 1905 so that narrows this one down. It's around 1905-1906 most likely that this one was produced. The other one doesn't have a proof mark so we can make a, an assumption that was manufactured between about 1900 and 1905. Now, we know that the earliest two calibers that were produced in the 94s, the 3855 and the 3240, were not offered standard with nickel steel barrels, but they could be special ordered. So th these two barrels give us the, a unique opportunity in that they're both from about the same time frame, and you can see this earlier one is stamped nickel steel. And this later one, the closest one, has no such stamp. So we can actually test now the hardness of, of two barrels uh, very similar and from the same time frame and see the difference in the hardness between a mild steel 3855 barrel and a nickel steel 3855 barrel. All right, so first up we've got this non-nickel steel barrel here. And so we would expect this to be a mild steel barrel similar in hardness to that uh, 86 barrel that we just tested. So let's, let's give it a go here. Okay, let's make sure we're supported out here. There we go. All right. And the moment of truth. And very similar. We're at about 76. So just a, a, a little bit higher on the hardness scale than that 86 uh, soft steel barrel. All right, let's try that nickel steel barrel now and see what kind of difference we get. Okay, now this nickel steel barrel. And typically we would take three measurements and average them out. But, you know, some of these barrels I'm testing today are still in pretty darn good shape. And even if the, these divots are on the bottom of the barrel, I don't really want to just mark them all up like that. So we'll get a pretty good idea just from one measurement on each. Typically they only uh, change maybe one or two points on the scale um, between measurements. Okay, here we are. And I'm pretty sure this one's going to be significantly more higher on the scale. And it is. It's up about 98 points. So we were at 76 on the mild steel barrel and just a shade over 98 on this one. Okay, now in the early 1930s, Winchester introduced what they called a proof steel barrel, which is a chromoly steel very similar to 4140, which is used in a lot of barrels today. So let's see what the difference is now in the hardness on a proof steel barrel, this one being a, a 92 barrel in 4440. Okay.
about 102 and a half. So really not much harder than the nickel steel barrel. Now, just to double check that result, we've got another proof steel barrel. This one's a Model 71 barrel uh, in 348, and this one's date stamped 1945. So we know when this one uh, was produced. I would expect to see a, a similar result uh, to that other 92 proof steel barrel, but let's have a look. Almost exactly. We're at 102 and a half on this one. We were just right at 102 with that 92 barrel. Now we want to try to solve but it's kind of a minor mystery. Now we know that Winchester Model 1892s did not come standard with nickel steel or proof steel barrels. Or they were never marked with either. Even in 1924 when the 53s came out and were, were available standard with a, a nickel steel barrel and then in 32 when the Model 65s come out and were stamped proof steel barrels the, the 92s of the same time frames were never stamped either. Now, I have heard some conjecture from, from other co collectors saying that, well, while they're not stamped nickel steel or proof steel, they, they used the same barrel steels in the 92s as they did in the 53s or the 65s. So what we've got here is a very, very late Model 92 barrel. This one's date stamped 1935. So it's, it's during the time period that the Model 65s were out with proof steel barrels. This is even later than the nickel steel Model 53s. And you can see this one's late enough, it even has a, a ramp front sight. So let's see if we can't figure out what, uh, what steel this particular 92 barrel is made out of. Okay, now let's just see. Is this really late 1935, 1892 barrel? Mild steel, nickel steel, or proof steel. I'm guessing mild steel. And it is. About 74 and a half. So right in there with the same kind of hardness that we saw even with the early 1886 barrel. Very interesting. Now I'm having entirely too much fun with this and before we wrap things up I've got one more barrel that I'm really intrigued to find out what the hardness is and see if we can decide what kind of steel it's made from. You see this is an extremely late 1886 barrel in 4570. This one's date stamped 1941 which is after the Winchester discontinued the 1886s, but this one's a Circle P barrel, so it was a um, factory mail order replacement barrel. Now, it's, it's got the correct Made in USA uh, stamp on it, so it, it appears to be all legitimate, but it doesn't have any stamp for uh, nickel steel or proof steel. So let's see if we can't solve another little mystery here. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Surely by 1941, Winchester wasn't making 1886 4570 barrels out of the same basic steels that they did in 1886. Let's find out. Okay, the moment of truth. Okay, just a little over 80. So again, that is a, a mild steel reading. Now it's a little bit harder than we saw with the early 1886 barrel and that uh, 94 barrel in 3855, which were in the mid 70s and we're at 80 here, but it's nowhere near the kind of reading we got with a nickel steel or a proof steel barrel. So I think we can conclude from 
the few barrels that we've done here today that it would be safe to say that if your Winchester barrel isn't marked either nickel steel or proof steel it's still mild steel and the same basic kind of steel that they used in the black powder era. Well I hope you've enjoyed today's episode it's been really interesting and educational for me as well and we're going to use that hardness tester maybe see if we can't solve a few more mysteries you know keep an eye out in the future uh, we'll get together some receivers from different eras and see if we can't kind of track down if there was any changes in receiver steels and, and approximately when those happened too that ought to be a pretty interesting little experiment so thanks for joining us today until next time happy trails from the cinnabar <laughs>